morning guys. Today is our last day with the Dam and Her community. And the first thing we're gonna do today, the first thing we're learning about is how they harness an energy called selfic energy to create these devices which can store the energy and have different purposes that they use them for, um, I guess like protection and health purposes. So yeah, we're gonna find out a little bit more about that. So this, for example, is a bracelet that is useful for protect your aura, the energetic, the energy that is all around us. So guys, this is where they make the selfic devices. So we just found out the founder Falco, he founded this whole community. He built this selfica and he used it to harness cosmic energy from another dimension to transfer perfume and color. Wow, this is a cool workshop. This is a statue of Falco. This is the founder of the community. In the glass, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool to be in a space where there's so much creativity. There's so many people making things and studio spaces and different mediums as well, whether it's like sculpture or cutting glass or making mosaics. Really cool. I like the idea of being in a, an artistic community. I feel like there's a, a process that happens when you can create and build things and make things. Like, it's good, very therapeutic. I feel like, like I was saying this last night as well, because we did a little art club yesterday, in yesterday's vlog, if you didn't see it. And I feel like it's something that I miss in my life when I'm not able to, you know, just create out of my imagination and do art and stuff. It's, uh, I think it's a very important thing. On to the next location. It's all a bit of a mystery. I don't know where we're going next. So we've arrived at another part of the community. This is amazing. We had to like drive down windy mountain roads to get here. So this is like really off the grid. This is so good. And they have a cool dog. Hello. <coughs> right. We're getting some tips at how to build houses for our community. This is a straw bale house. Behind this window shows what's behind this outer clay layer. This is what all the insulation for the walls is. This is so nice. And that's a bedroom up there. Yeah, the bedroom is up there. It's very, very silent because the straw has a very strong insulation, both thermically as well as um, acoustically. Oh, wow, so this is an extension to your house? Yes, this, is an, this is an extension here. There will become another person. Ah, okay. Other two people, actually, and there will be also a bathroom behind there. Mm. And all of the bricks are made from straw? Yeah. No, they're, they're made clay and straw, yeah. Clay and straw. I like this, this little log burner. It's, it's nice and warm. Guys, this is crazy. We've just been told that this entire house spins. Is that to get the best heat or something? It spins with the sun and it has solar panels on the roof and it has photovoltaic on the roof wow. and it has a compost toilet inside so it's completely self-sufficient <laughs> This is crazy! Oh my god! What a view as well! Wow! So you could like watch the sunset and the sunrise out the same window? Did he build this? Yes, he built it. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Good job. Yeah. Did you design the motor? I anchored, I anchored from the tattoo in motor and everything. Wow. wow. That is one of the most amazing houses I've ever seen. <laughs> Who has those ideas? I'm just going to spin my house around. 
after we finished our lunch, hanging out with all of the dumb and hurrians that are living here, we found out that around the table of 18 people, there was actually 12 different nationalities represented, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, we're now continuing to have a little tour uh, and we're about to go down to this building. This is really cool because they've been experimenting with solar power for decades, I guess. And these are the different generations of solar panels. So guys, we've just walked into a control room. These are the battery banks from the solar power. And these are hot water tanks where the water is getting collected from the roof. And she was just telling us that even in the winter, from the sunshine, this is 60 degrees Celsius just from the sun heating the water. That's crazy. That's like hot enough to have a shower. That's like way hotter than you'd want a hot tub. What's this? These are our two springs from which the two nucleus get the water. Ah, wow, so it's so all the water fresh. The have been drinking is really extremely good water. I don't know whether you've realized. Well, this is the water that comes from the two springs. It comes in here, goes through the first filter. It is pushed by these two pumps through these two filters. We have our water regularly um, tested and it's really good water. Guys, I just want to show you the fattest cat I've ever, ever seen. Look, look at how fat this cat is. You can't really see him on camera. You need a wider lens. You are just like a big balloon. You're just like a big fairy balloon. Okay, guys, it's been a lovely visit to this place. Lots to think about, lots of inspiration. We're now going to a very exciting place called the, is it called the Enchanted Forest? I think it's called the Enchanted Forest. Are we going to the Enchanted Forest now? Sacred Forest. The Sacred Forest. So we've arrived at the Temple of the Sacred Forest and we're getting shown around some of the things here. And this is the oldest tree at, they estimate like 150 years old and they've named it the Amantel. And they've built like a, a shrine and a, a meditation circle around the tree. So guys, this is the singing plant room. You want to do that again? And yeah, they've yeah, set yeah. up <laughs> electrodes to <laughs> yeah, plants. Yeah, you just know what you're talking about. And then it goes through a MIDI controller and you can hear the frequencies and melodies that the plants are making. Oh. So it's detecting the, ele the flow of electricity? It, exactly. Every living being is, has some electric conductivity. We are back at the Temple of Humankind yes. for a concert. If you didn't see my vlog from the other day when we went down into the temple, you're about to get an amazing treat. Hey. So this is the Victory Hall. And uh, we're just about to have a little, um, a little show put in for us. The last song they just did was actually um, a native Amazonian language that they just sung about the rainforest that they just sung. He's just saying that these next songs are from Native American origin.
We're not allowed to take our cameras in to see the news section, but we are the first people outside of the Dumanhurian community to see this new section, so yeah, this is pretty exciting. In the same way as this section, if you watched my vlog the other day, is all about um, like representing all the different kind of deities and gods and things from all cultures from around the world. Um, it was the same as in there, that's the, the murals that are painted all over the walls um, were kind of, a bit, I guess, the, the whole kind of theme was uniting um, the whole of humanity and that's a massive part of what um, uh, Damon here is about the, you know whether you believe in all of the, the spiritual um, beliefs that they do or not for me it's almost that's not the most important thing for me it's it's what they stand for and it's this whole thing of trying to unite people and build community look at all this emotion Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's time to go. Guys, so you know the other day Kristen hit 100k on her YouTube channel. Well, tonight is another special night because Nadine is about to hit. Wait, 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 wait. She hit 300,000. 300,000. We're now saying our goodbyes. You. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. I thought I would kind of summarize our trip here and I guess reflect a little bit about the last few days because it's been, I'd say, quite overwhelming. I've learned a lot about their belief systems and kind of their worldview of um, why things are the way they are and what needs to change and loads of different things like that. This is a very deep, heavy subject, so I'm not going to go into it now, but I guess but trying to dig out myself of what is, what, how would I fully define my kind of spiritual beliefs and growing up in church as a Christian and being inspired by Jesus and then also wanting to connect with people from different backgrounds and different world belief systems and how I can uh, live unified with those people and find a way to love one another. Um, anyway, lots of stuff flying around my head. There's been so much I haven't been able to, I guess, translate to my vlogs, but um, it's all been really, really cool. And one thing we've taken away from this weekend is really wanting to pursue, continue to pursue this vision to build tree, a treehouse community and um, Kristen and Sia are 100% on that as well so we've just been chatting about areas which we could do that and how long will it take for us to establish something like that because I think it's going to take a while. Oh, right, anyway I, I will, um, I'll update you guys if I've had any further thoughts and um, whether we have any deep spiritual discussions as a group on our travels back and uh, yeah I'll catch you very early in the morning we need to leave here at 7am to get to the airport to fly back to the UK um, so yeah I'll see you then peace out, enjoy life and live the adventure boom